हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अधिनाथ डी बदर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री लेट पुष्पादेवी पाटिल आर्ट साइंस साइंस कॉलेज रिसोर्ट डिस्ट वॉशिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टॉपिक फॉर बी एस सी सेकेंड इयर यूनिट सेकेंड पार्ट ए दैट इज वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एनालिसिस लेक्चर नंबर फर्स्ट सो फर्स्टली वी सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक सो दिस टॉपिक दिस बिलोंग्स टू द एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री so analytical chemistry is the branch of chemistry deals with the study of qualitative as well as quantitative analysis of any substance or simply uh, is a analytical uh, technique or analysis technique uh, to determine uh, quantity of uh, that is how much substance are present and their quality so the these are mainly divided into two types that is volumetric analysis and gravimetric analysis so in the part first we see the volumetric analysis so vol volumetric analysis is a quantitative analysis in which the volume of known concentration or simply standard solution <coughs> required to react with a solution of unknown concentration uh on the basis of this we can determine the quantity of any unknown substance or solute so these are the uh, volumetric analysis assembly uh, these are the burette stand these are the burette uh, these are the volumetric flask uh, so uh, next topic is uh, important terms involved in the titration process so first term is titration titration is the process of determining the volume of known strain concentration solution uh, required uh, to react with uh, the known concentration of unknown solution so the next uh, term is titrant and titrate so the solution taken in burette called as titrant and the solution taken in a volumetric flask are, are called as titrate now the next term is theoretical end point theoretical end point so the volume at which reaction actually completed by adding a known concentration solution uh, in stoichiometric amount uh, uh, this point is called as theoretical end point now the next term is indicator a substance which is used for visu visual changes uh, occur in the titration process that substance are called indicator now the next term is end point of the titration so end point of titration is nothing but uh, end point of titration is nothing but the volume at which the completion of reaction is observed by using indicator is called as end point and the last term is titration error uh in practice there is difference between equivalence point that is theoretical end point <coughs> or practical end point that is actual end point this difference is called as titration error now the requirements of uh, volumetric analysis uh, these are the simple technique uh, uh, easy to hand so these are the simple requirements uh, require for the volumetric analysis that is the chemical reaction must be simple uh, this reaction must be simple the reaction shows some marked changes in some properties at the end point uh, with the help of indicator uh, it should be in stoichiometric amount that is 1s to 1 uh, easy to calculation uh, simply we can say easy to calculation it should be free from side reaction <coughs> does not occur any side reaction other than uh we select now it should be specific for substance to be analyzed uh, this reaction should be specific or uh, simply the reaction occur uh, with uh, only selected analyze or analyze uh, the end point should be well defined so the changes at the end point that is it may be color it may be precipitate formation <coughs> uh, this uh, should be a uh, well defined and known the reaction should be relatively fast the another uh, requirement or last requirement the reaction should be relatively or uh, very fast for uh, completion now the next advantages of uh, volumetric analysis 
it requires simple apparatus uh, like pipette, burette, uh, volumetric flask, uh, burette stand. Uh, it does not involve laborious operations, uh, not require uh, more uh, labors. Uh, it uh, performs quickly and result obtained is uh, very fast or readily. Uh, this technique is more precise and accurate. Uh, it different type of titration method can be used in the uh, volumetric analysis like acid based titration uh, that is oxidation redox this is uh, redox titration precipitation titration complex formation titration and diazonium or diazonium uh, titration now uh, the next part is standard solution uh, we can say simply standard solution uh, the solution of known strength or concentration if we have any solution known strength solution then we can say these are the standard solution uh, is prepared by is, is easily prepared by dissolving an accurately weight quantity of highly pure substance so primary standard substance next term is a highly pure substance which is used to prepare standard solution and this is called as primary standard substance so these are the some requirements for the primary standard solution uh, it is easily available in highly pure state uh, the weight of uh, the weight should not be changed during weighing by air or any other condition so we can take on weight uh, on a weighing box uh, weighing balance uh, after that the weight should not be uh, changed or it uh, it does not react with air or any other condition uh, like temperature uh, the impurities present in the substance is should not exceed 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 percent it readily soluble in given or selected solvent uh, shows a rapid reaction and passes high molar mass and should uh, stable on keeping uh, these are the some requirements uh, for the primary standard solution now these are the example of uh, some primary standard solution used in the volumetric analysis uh, for the acid base titration the sodium carbonate uh, potassium hydrogen thalate uh, succinic acid these are the commonly used as a primary standard uh, or for the determination of unknown strength of other substance uh, for redox titration that is oxidation reduction titration potassium dichromate potassium iodate oxalic acid are mainly used uh, in redox titration as a primary standard now the next uh, type is precipitation titration in that uh, titration silver silver nitrate sodium chloride and potassium chloride are generally used as a primary standard uh, now the next is complex formation titration in this uh, titration, zinc, magnesium, lead salt, EDTA, disodium salt are generally used as a primary standard substances. Now, the next uh, topic is terms to express the concentration uh, in a volumetric analysis. So, first terms is molarity. It is denoted by capital M. Uh, so uh, the molarity uh, nothing but the number of gram mole of substance or solute dissolve in sufficient solvent uh, per dm cube or uh, to make volume uh, to the 1000 ml of solution is known as molarity these are the formula of molarity weight of solute per 1000 ml or dm cube divided by molecular weight of uh, that uh, solute now the next terms is normality it is denoted by capital n normality is the number of gram of equivalent weight of substance dissolve in uh, minimum solvent and make it volume to the 1000 ml of solution is known as normality so uh, in the molarity uh, we consider the equivalent weight of that solute and in normality we consider the equivalent weight of that uh, solute so normality uh, uh, is equal to weight of solute per dm cube or per thousand uh, ml divided by equivalent weight of that solute now the next terms is molality 
uh, it is denoted by small m uh, here the number of gram mole of solute dissolve uh, or uh, to make up 1 kilogram of sol uh, 1 kilogram of uh, solute so molar molarity m is equal to weight of solute per kilogram of solvent or solute divided by molecular weight of that solute now the next uh, term is percent of solution so percent of solution is uh, divided into three part that is by weight uh, weight upon weight so uh, simply define the percent of composition of by weight is the number of gram present in 100 gram of solution here these are the weight upon weight concept now the number of gram of our solute present in 100 gram of solution now the next term is by volume here uh, volume upon volume the percent composition by volume is the volume of solute present in 100 ml of solution now the next uh, third type is weight per volume it is the number of gram of solute present in 100 ml of solvent